welcome back class 4 students today in session 2 we will continue learning something more about our planet earth let's begin the earth day is celebrated on 22nd april do you know students why april 22nd is celebrated as the earth day let's find out it was one of the first attempts to make people aware of the earth's depleting resources and increasing pollution levels it means it was an attempt or a try to make people know or understand that our planet earth's resources like air water food from plants and animals are becoming less in number or quantity and pollution is increasing and to make people understand how serious this problem is going to be the celebration of earth day in 1992 was made memorable by an international conference held in brazil now here the words memorable means unforgettable or worth remembering and conference means a large official meeting now students let me tell you that brazil is the largest country in south america so in the year 1992 the earth day was celebrated by holding an international meeting the word international means many countries together took part in this the leaders of many countries attended this event and it led to a new movement to preserve the earth's resources in both big and small ways here the word preserve means to protect led to means resulted into attended means took part that means leaders of many countries took part in this program and they all decided to do something seriously to protect earth's resources and here what do you understand by the words big and small ways it means it is the responsibility of all of us together leaders of different countries will take big steps and at smaller level we all have to work together to help them people across the world take up a number of activities like tree plantation that is one particular day is fixed by a group of people who plant saplings in large number in a particular area and then regularly take care of those plants till they grow into trees next awareness camps on environment related topics from this picture you can make out that a camp by young school children is held here some school children are explaining through a play and spreading awareness about environment next pollution reduction camps and many more from this picture you can see that school children have gathered on the beach and they are collecting garbage from there and cleaning the surrounding area this way they are spreading the message to reduce land pollution so we can say that the world earth day 
is a time for people around the globe to support the environmental protection movement here the word support means to help now here is an activity given in your textbook what will you do to conserve and protect our earth here i am providing you a few ways but you can find out more what will you do to save water number 1 get the leaking taps repaired now students in your house also if any tap is leaking you should get it repaired immediately this way you will be helping the environment second turn off the tap while brushing teeth i hope you are not doing this mistake 3 take quick shower or shorter baths that is don't take too long to take bath or you can use a bucket to take bath 4 wash your bike or car with a bucket filled with water do not use hose pipes to clean next what will you do to save trees number 1 plant more trees number 2 use cloth napkins instead of paper napkins this way you can save papers because papers are made from tree pulp 3 use both sides of a paper don't waste paper number 4 gift plants on your friend's birthday yes students this you should definitely try this way you will be actually spreading a message to protect our environment isn't it amazing next what will you do to save animals and birds number 1 keep water pots for thirsty birds at balconies or windows yes many birds die in summer without water because of scorching heat number 2 help stray animals by giving food stray animals means animals which do not have homes it means you can feed animals wandering on streets and this is my favorite hanging a bird feeder outside the house it looks so beautiful isn't it now this is an activity given in your textbook so this is your homework you have to observe the pictures and match the sentences given below with them and discuss with your family members what did you understand from these lines children i hope in this session you gained a lot of information and knowledge and now i want you to not just read it as a chapter but feel it and help our planet earth to be called as green and clean again thank you